The endoplasmic reticulum is a very complex compartment where these various compartments are interconnected, so they form a complex passageway within the cell. The endoplasmic reticulum can be directly attached to the nuclear envelope, as is represented right over here. Notice that there are dots, and you can see them directly on the surface of the endoplasmic reticulum right over here. These white dots represent ribosomes, so these would be fixed ribosomes on rough endoplasmic reticulum. This also represents endoplasmic reticulum, but notice that in contrast to the neighboring endoplasmic reticulum, this endoplasmic reticulum does not have those white granules which represent ribosomes on the surface. This particular endoplasmic reticulum would be smooth endoplasmic reticulum. It's also known as agranular endoplasmic reticulum. Take a close look at this Golgi apparatus that we can see on this model. In this particular representation, there is some peculiarity that these four compartments are connected to one another in a way that is probably inaccurate to show it this way. Another inaccuracy here is the fact that the Golgi apparatus is represented as being attached to the nu nuclear envelope by this stalk, and that is not the case. It, it, the Golgi apparatus is not directly connected to the nuclear envelope. You can see a number of mitochondria in this cell model. Here's one, here's one that's cut open, and here's another one, and there's another one that's cut open right over here and over here. The mitochondrion has two membranes, one on the outside and a larger one on the inside, which folds inward to form these structures, which are called Christi. So you see the Christi represented in this model, but you don't see the fact that the mitochondrion has a double membrane. The lysosome is yellow in this model. So this would represent a lysosome. And if you look at one that is cut open, you can see that this is a compartment that would, in the lysosome, contain hydrolytic enzymes. So here is your lysosome cut open. The peroxisome contains oxidative enzymes, oxidative enzymes. So this organelle will detoxify harmful chemical substances like, for example, phenol and alcohol by oxidizing these uh, molecules and, and making them, uh, changing them into less harmful uh, molecules that can be used or broken down by the cell. So uh, the peroxisome is shown on this model and it is, this, these dark structures are not fat vacuoles, they are peroxisomes because they're hollow inside. So don't confuse these with fat vacuoles, which you would see on the newer cell model.